So the main camera that I shoot on is a Sony a6300 and I absolutely love the camera. I know there's other updates out there and better versions of the camera, but for my purposes, it's great. A budget 4K camera comes in roughly around $800 now, uh, which I think is a great value for what you do. The problem that I've had is that I've been stuck with the kit lens for a long time and I really want to upgrade to something else to give me a little bit more flexibility and stuff. My other problem with the kit lens is manual focus is pretty much impossible. It's all automatic. There's some things you can do, but in general, being able to go through and manually focus something is something I really want to do. Uh, mainly a lot of the product shots I do and review type of things that I do, I like to get nice up and close and really detailed. And when you have a camera lens that primarily is made for autofocus, it's hard to do that properly and easily and to just get the shot that you want. Especially when you try to preview the screen or see what's going on, the screen itself is only really tiny on the back of the camera, so you don't really know what you have until you come out and get it. So I picked up a new lens and I'm really happy with it and it cost me $32. So I wound up getting this box. Uh, I got it off eBay and what was inside of it was something really special that I'm really happy with, uh, both in quality and terms of cost. I really can't beat it. It's by newer, it's a manual focus lens, it's 32 millimeters and has f1.8. Uh, basically this means that I can get really close to an object, about 10 inches or so away and get it in focus and I can really get that blurring effect in the background. I'll show you some sample footage of what's going on here, uh, but I'm really happy with the quality of the pictures and also the video I've been able to get out of this thing. The lens itself is nice, heavy metal construction. It feels really solid. All the things about it just work, just functions nice. The, the guide rings for changing the focus, really smooth, changing your f-stop, really smooth, just everything just moves. So nice, I really like it. When you change how far the distance or the focal length is, you're gonna see the lens moves out just a bit, not a lot, but it does move a little bit. And when you change your f-spots on here from 1.8 all the way up to 22, you'll see that it goes through and you're gonna see the lens get bigger and smaller and it's just cool looking. I primarily plan on using this lens as a photography slash videography lens, uh, mainly for video. That's mainly what I use my camera for is video, but I do some photos with it as well and everything's been pretty sharp. I've been really happy with it. Some of the things in the background are a little noisier than what a uh, really high, high quality lens would be, but for $32, you cannot beat this thing. The only downside to this thing is that the rings for both the focus and the focal length are kind of just really close together. So you can accidentally grab onto the wrong one pretty easily and change some things that you didn't want to change. It's not a big deal, but it's something you need to be aware of. And it also mounts very close to the camera. It's about the size of the kit lens that comes with the A6300. And you just gotta be aware of that it's gonna be close and I have a cage on mine so it's even closer. So getting my hands in there to change everything is a little tight sometimes. But overall, this lens is killer. I really, really like it. It fits everything I need to do. And again, for the money, you just can't beat it. So check it out. It's a really, really good lens for the money.